Hello Trina friends was good. This was a requested video. I received several comments on my high school advice video to do a video on uh, of what my experience was like being the new kid. Anyways, let's get started. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna answer some frequently asked questions about like school and like my age and stuff. I started school September 5th and I'm kind of shook it because some of my subscribers have been already going to school in August. I am a junior when I go back to school. Grade 11, wow. And I look 12, so. I turned 16 in October. Yes, I have a late birthday. I'm going to be a junior and be 15 years old. Woo! I was the new kid when I went to the 10th grade. So the school year of 2016, 2017, I was the new kid and I was two weeks late. Oh shit, bra strap. Now everybody knows I have a bra. I wear a bra. Oh shit. So basically, Ah, okay, I was two weeks late because I was doing online school and You know, I could do a whole video on like what it was like doing online school. It was low-key cool. Okay, wait Let me let me give y'all a backstory. Okay, eighth grade and ninth grade I went to this old high school. We will call it trash. It's not I mean so I went to this high school summer of eighth grade I moved to a different city, but while living in that different city ninth grade I still went to that high school So I like I'd have to wake up at 4 or 5 a.m. Which is fine because I still wake up at like 5 30 a.m. Anyways so like... Ninth grade was when I realized I didn't like the school because everybody was I don't know I just wasn't happy there because of the people there and because of my mindset at the time I was kind of just like oh shit does this mean I don't like people in general? I guess so. So I'm gonna do online school. Kumi? Okay, the reason why I moved from online school back to like normal public high school, this is what happened. I didn't tell anybody at my previous high school other than my best friend. I only had two friends there. I didn't tell anybody that I was moving. I didn't even tell the principal or the teachers. I was kind of like, bye bitches, I ain't gonna see y'all ever again. Boom, gang. There was a new vice principal there that school year and she called my mom and she was basically curious and was wondering like where I was at, like why wasn't I showing up to my classes and stuff. Cause at that point I was already doing online school. I didn't even think about trash and just, you know, did online school and was I was vibing, I was chilling. So she's like, she wants to meet me. So my mom, my dad and I, we go there and I go in the office and we have a, you know, convo. The vice principal, she was just like really surprised and confused as to the reason why I was doing online school because th she described me as, why are you doing online school? You're such a, like, a, you're a bright student, you're a social butterfly, you know, you have amazing grades. Blah, blah, blah. She was kind of shook it. She really wanted me to go back to public high school. Like she wasn't really, Oh, she just wanted me to go back. She was strongly suggesting me to go to this high school, like the high school I currently go to. Well, she does that, and I'm like, oh shit, sure. I mean, YOLO, gang gang. Oh, I stopped doing online school, <laughs> and I did it for like two weeks. <laughs> but then that meant I was gonna be two weeks late to be enrolled in the new high school. But there was a huge difference between the high schools. First off, the school systems were different. Um, at my previous high school, it worked with terms where you have three terms and you have eight classes for the entire school year but it's like day one day two day one day two at my high school i currently go to i actually like the system better because it works with semesters it's like first half of the school year you have four specific classes you have every single day just rotates and then second semester the rest of the school year you have the other four um also the ethnicities are different too like at my old high school it was like strictly the majority it was all asian and then now at the high school i go to it seems more mixed like it's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i was of course nervous sighted because that's that's kind of just like how everybody is when they're the new kid or like when they're going back to school You're gonna be nervous and excited But honestly, it's kind of cool being the new person because you can take that as an opportunity to change yourself for the better I was two weeks late and it was kind of awkward because everybody already had their seat and everybody already started doing work So of course being two weeks late I focused more on my schoolwork because I wanted to catch up make sure my grades were a1 because I focused more on school. I didn't really put effort into making friends, you know what I mean? I really honestly didn't really care much to make friends. Like I would socialize with the people in my classes and stuff. But because I didn't put in effort of making friends, I basically spent the first two months of that school year eating lunch alone. Yes, I was a loner, but I really didn't care. Cause I was like, you know what, Joe? Who cares if you don't make friends this school year? You are here to learn. I just basically spent time alone during lunch for the first two months, but I did get invites from people. They were like, hey, you wanna like join us? You're like free to hang out with us during lunch, blah, blah, blah. And of course I was thankful for that, but I didn't go with them because I didn't know how to get to them. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what's fine. I can just chill by myself. 
So yeah, I try to use that time to study, but actually what I would do is I'd open a binder and be watching YouTube. Wow. But the first semester, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, the first semester was kind of shit because I didn't have any friends. I'm gonna cut myself off here. I'm sorry if this video is kind of a mess and I'm sorry if it's like everywhere. I don't have a script. <laughs> so I'm kind of just like, you know, talking about what I can think of off the top of my head. Shit, my hair is greasy ass. So on top of that, first semester sucked because I was also dealing with a bunch of personal problems and first semester I visited my school counselor very frequently actually i don't know how many times like i can't even count up how many times i visited my counselor during the first semester because i was hella struggling but now i'm glowing i'm i'm having i'm vibing right now like i'm good i'm good with myself i didn't have any friends until two months later so i had my first friend november oh november okay third november is when i've made my first friend this is what happened we're gonna, we're gonna call him Glass. I had social class with Glass. One day, the class is in the library and we have our own groups, but each person in the group has a specific topic. I happen to be at the same table as Glass was. And I don't know what happened to Glass. Like, he doesn't really talk to me. I don't think, I don't think he likes me anymore, but it's all good. So basically, Glass asks me, he's like, I always see you in the library. Like, why are you always alone? I totally forget what I said. I don't know if I, I'm pretty sure I said something like, Oh, I don't have friends. <laughs> I think that's what I said. That same day during lunch, Glass comes with a bunch of his friends to the table, that huge table I'm sitting alone at for I don't know how long. Obviously, he's... Never mind. Oh. <sighs> Automatically, I feel extremely overwhelmed. I was literally sitting there low-key having a panic attack. It was like a very small one, so we'll call it... Like a little mini anxiety attack. That wasn't the first time I've ever experienced that before. I remember like the first time I experienced it, I was like... Eight so he and his friends come to my table and I look like a hella loner because the table is huge and I'm sitting there alone When glass sits at my table with a bunch of his other friends I like I'm sitting there having an anxiety attack Like I literally wanted to cry because I was like, oh my god, he's so nice But then oh my god, there's so many people I have to try to impress as you can see first semester Jill had a lot of problems I was literally on the verge of tears but I try to keep my cool because first impression. So I'm just sitting there all nervous as heck. And, you know, I try to socialize, but I kind of just sit there in silence most of the time, I think. I didn't think they'd like me for who I was because I'm such like a weird person who's like all like jokes and shit. So I was like, oh no, I'm gonna like keep myself away. You know what I'm saying? After that lunch, I like sat in science class and I was like, oh fuck, I screwed things up. I could have... They could have been my friends, but like, shit, I messed up, I messed up. And I couldn't even focus in science class that day because I was so like, oh my god, oh my god, like, I, I messed things up, like. Uh. They kept coming to the library, and I didn't really get close with them. Glass has this friend. We're gonna call her Pink. Pink, I don't know, she has a, she had a history with Glass. I'm not gonna go into that because that ain't my story to tell, and I ain't a motherfucking snake. They're not really friends anymore. I don't know, I think, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so there's pink. So keep pink here. So one of the people that Glass brought, one of Glass's friends who like came to the library table when I was like new and like I was like all ah. So we're gonna call him Tree and Tree and Pink are best friends, a guy and a girl. One day I'm like sitting at the library table alone and Pink also sits at the library table alone because she lost all her friends because of some snaky situation. I don't really know what happened. I mean, I do know, but, but I forget because I low-key memory loss, shit. She would sit at a library table alone too and like she saw me just like, you know, vibing, chilling, writing in my journal, you know, swag. She comes to join my table. That was like the first time we actually interacted one-on-one. -on -one. That's the first time we ever really conversed and our conversation was actually really good. She's like telling me a bunch of stuff, you know, we, it was cool because it felt like really natural and shit. I mean, it was cool because I was like, oh, okay, I can actually like genuinely consider her as a friend. And so ever since then, we, we spent a lot of time like during lunch together. So that was pretty freaking cool. And then because Tree is her best friend, I would also converse with Tree. If it wasn't for Glass, I wouldn't have Pink and I wouldn't have Tree. I don't really talk to Tree as much as I'd like to, like outside of school. Like, after the first semester is over, when you go into a new semester, it's, it's literally like the first day because you have new classes, you, you're surrounded by new people. By the time it was second semester, I almost completely got rid of of all my personal problems so i was having much more fun with my life and i remember i had pe class and i remember in pe class i with at least like two three people i i was like oh hi like what's your name blah, 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 blah. second semester was better because i socialized more i talked with more people 
gang gang and yolo the world even if some people wouldn't want to talk to you like i initiate a convo okay okay second semester also i make a friend and he's actually really cool we'll call him film but yeah so film is cool he's really tall he's like like six feet like shit at my new high school, I can generally consider three people as my friends. Everybody else, it's kind of just like people I socialize with. This is how I like to keep it. I like having a very small number like of people that I genuinely consider my friends. And then everybody else I socialize with, acquaintances, you know what I'm saying? In total, including the people from my last high school, I have five friends. Oh yeah, now I'm going to answer some questions that, that some of you guys from the high school advice video commented and want me to answer. I wrote it down on a little piece of paper. How to make friends when people already have their friend groups and stuff. Well, actually, I have, a th I have an idea. What you can do is you can talk to as many people as you can. In your classes, whatever. And once you talk to a bunch of people, by talking to them, you'll kind of somehow, maybe you'll be able to determine who you'd want to consider your friends. And by doing that, once you have like the people you want to be more close with, because like then like talking with them, you'll like find out what their personality is like. Then you can pursue... Pursue? You can boost your relationship with, with the people that you really consider and want to be your friends, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure you know what I'm saying. Like, I hope you know what I'm saying. But yeah, so it's either you start the convos and just YOLO because life is short, have fun. Or you can just wait for fate and something will happen. How to initiate conversations. Well, honestly, you just gotta YOLO. I know it was it's kind of nervousing, but oh, here tip for you this is how i started talking to some people i pretended i didn't know the answer to a question and i asked the person beside me i was like oh hey what you get for number 69 and then then you can like continue i know it can be really nervousing but do you really want to not talk to anybody and just wait for people to start convos with you sometimes you just gotta take the plunge how did you go on the first day i don't know what that question really means you know, i was two weeks late i was i was nervous and excited I was just YOLO gang gang. Who to sit with during lunch? You will, you might get invites because you are going to be the new person and sometimes people will be nice enough to like ask you to join. But honestly, if, you, if you're really stressing about that, if you don't want to sit alone, you can just literally ask people, like, Hey, um, I'm new here. Like, could I join you for like the first couple weeks? If that's cool too. How to find your classes and how to not get lost. Well, what I do is I go ahead of time, like before school actually begins. I would go to school earlier than like the normal times to go walk around the school to find my classes. That's how I survive not really getting lost. I, I did get lost like a couple times. Yeah, honestly, you just have to go earlier. And what to bring on the first day of school? Um, it kind of depends. Well, for me, because I was two weeks late when I was new, I brought my backpack and all the things I need for class. But when I go back to school, it's only going to be like maybe one or two hours, I think. I'm not sure. So I'm not really, I don't know if I'll, I'll probably not bring a backpack. You can in case, if you're new. Do you bring a backpack? I don't know. I like having a backpack because it's like I'm protected or something. Like sometimes I'll feel naked without a backpack, so like I'll have a backpack on. But yeah, second semester was super fun because that's when like I started embracing my personality. Everything was like way better than first semester. First semester was freaking shit. I remember second semester, like a lot of people would ask me if I was high. Like they'd be like, are you high right now? And I'd be like, what? No, that's just my personality. What you talk? Oh, I hope this video reassured you in some way. I know it can be nervousing, but it's fun. High school is what you make it. Life is what you make it. it. High school can be shit or it can be freaking fun. You can do so many things to make your high school a memorable experience. But yeah, if I missed out on like a topic, if you have a question on something that I didn't really cover in this video, leave it in the comments below. Start the comment with help in caps. And then proceed from there because then I'll know that that's like a question you want me to answer like in the comments. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post every Tuesday so there's a new cringe video posted every week. I'm gross but it'd be like that sometimes. And give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you next Tuesday in another video. Peace out homeschooler biscuit. Uh.